Hello and welcome to Advent Kairos 2020, Inner Healing and Freedom. Advent is traditionally a time of waiting, with expectation and with hope. During this time, God can help us transform our thinking, bringing us healing for ourselves and for others. Light shows us what was previously hidden. You bind up the brokenhearted, proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. You are the one who brings healing and freedom. Let's reflect on the story of Jacob and Joseph. Jacob's sons had gone to find grain in Egypt during the famine. Simeon was held there while the others returned for Benjamin. Jacob's reaction was to despair, focus on what had gone wrong and overthink what could go wrong next. Joseph could have given up hope too, during his long and difficult years in prison. But he chose to hold on to hope. He focused on the goodness of God and on what God had promised. Joseph's character and actions were transformed by this focus. In the midst of hurt and difficulties, Joseph was made whole. When things are difficult, help me to look at your good promises, Heavenly Father. Help me to focus on your great and everlasting goodness. Amen.
God says that you are his treasured possession, that he made you and he knows you. He sees you even in your most difficult times. Psalm 139 ends with this. Search me, God, and know my heart. Shine your light on me. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Shine your light on me and let me be brave enough. And lead me in the way everlasting. Let me walk in your light, not ashamed, not afraid. Is there anything that you think someone else thinks or has thought or even said and it's holding you back? Is there a past experience that's holding you back from fully enjoying your present life? Is there an expect, expectation on you from others that's unrealistic? Feeling anxious and tense can become a habit. Is God calling you to start to release it? Remember, God does not define us by our past, by trauma, by our current situation, by what others have said or by our background. Remember and release. A prayer for freedom. Your word, O God, is sharper than a double-edged sword, able to cut away the hurt that I thought would always be a part of me, but it doesn't need to be, and you want to help me to let it go. So I remember and I release. And somehow, over the days, I hear your words, your words of comfort, your words that challenge, your truths sink inside me, permeate my being, and you cut away so beautifully. The best surgeon, the part that's in my past, but has chained me and kept me a prisoner for a lifetime. And so I remember and I release. And over the days and through the night, I know that you are with me. I know that you help me. You bind up the broken hearted. Proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. You are the one who brings healing and freedom. I remember and I release. A prayer to finish. Thank you, our loving Heavenly Father, that you are such a good God. Help us always to delight in who you are and put our hope in you. May your light and truth lead us in every circumstance so that we might follow your way of healing and wholeness. Amen.